Matthew chapter 1, the family line of Jesus. This is a record of the family line of Jesus Christ. He is the son of David. He is also the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac was the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah was the father of Perez and Zerah. Tamar was their mother. Perez was the father of Hezron. Hezron was the father of Ram. Ram was the father of Amminadab. Amminadab was the father of Nashon. Nashon was the father of Sal- Salmon. Salmon was the father of Boaz. Rahab was Boaz's mother. Boaz was the father of Obed. Ruth was Obed's mother. Obed was the father of Jesse, and Jesse was the father of King David. David was the father of Solomon. Solomon's mother has been Uriah's wife. Solomon was the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam was the father of Abijah. Abijah was the father of Asa. Asa was the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was the father of Jehoram. Jehoram was the father of Uz- Uziah. Uziah was the father of Joham. Joham was the father of Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah was the father of Manash. Manash was the father of Ammon. Ammon was the father of Josiah. Josiah was the father of Jeconiah and his brothers. And that time, the Jewish people was forced to go away to Babylon. After this, the family line continued. Jeconiah was the father of Sheltiel. Sheltiel was the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel was the father of Abiud. Abiud was the father of Eliakim. Eliakim was the father of Azor. Azor was the father of Zadok. Zadok was the father of Akim. Akim was the father of Eliud. Eliud was the father of Elizar. Elizar was the father of Matham. Matham was the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Joseph. Joseph has, was the husband of Mary. And Mary, Mary gave birth to Jesus, who is called Christ. So there were 14 generations from Abraham to David. There were 14 from David until the Jewish people were forced to go away to Babylon. And there were 14 from that time to the Christ. Jesus Christ is born. This is how the birth birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary and Joseph had promised to get married. But before they started to live together, it became clear that she was going to have a baby. She became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph was a godly man. He did not want to put her to shame in public, so he planned to de- divorce her quietly. But as Joseph was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, the son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She is going to have a son. You must give him the name Jesus. That is because he will save his people from their sins. All of this took place to bring about what the Lord has had said would happen. He had said through the prophet, the virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son, and he will be called Emmanuel. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. The name Emmanuel means God with us. Joseph woke up. He did what the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. He took Mary home as his wife, but he did not make love to her until a after she gave birth to a son, and Joseph gave him the name Jesus. Matthew chapter 2 The wise men visit Jesus. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea. This hap- happened while Herod was king of Judea. After Jesus' birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? When we are in the east, we saw his star. Now we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about 
it, he was very upset. Everyone in Jerusalem was troubled too. So Herod called together all the chief priests of the people. He also called the teachers of the law. He asked them where the Christ was going to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, This is what the prophet has written, he said. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Ju Judah, are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. A ruler will come out of you. He will be shepherd of my people Israel. When Herod called for the wise men secretly, he found out from them exactly when the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem. He said, Go, make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, bring me a report. Then I can go and worship him too. After the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. Wait, the star they had seen when they were in the east went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There, there they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, incense, and myrrh. But God warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod, so they returned to their country on a different road. Jesus' family escapes to Egypt. When the wise men had left, Joseph had a dream. In the dream, an angel of the Lord appeared to him. Get up, the angel said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you to come back. Herod is going to search for the child. He wants to kill him. Joseph got up. During the night, he left for Egypt with the child and his mother Mary. They stayed there until King Herod died. So the words the Lord Jesus had sp spoken through the prophet g came true. He had said, I chose to bring my son out of Egypt. Herod realized that the wise men had tricked him, so he became very angry. He gave orders concerning Bethlehem and the area around it. All the boys two years old and under were to be killed. This agreed with the time when the wise men had seen the star. In this way, the words the prophet Jeremiah spoke came true. He had said, A voice is heard in Ramah. It's the sound of crying and deep sadness. Rachel is crying over her children. She refuses to be comforted because they are gone. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 15. Jesus' family returns to Nazareth. After Herod died, Joseph Joseph had a dream while he was still in Egypt. In the dream, an angel of the Lord appeared to him. The angel said, Get up, take the child and his mother. Go to the land of Israel. Those who are trying to kill the child are dead. So Joseph got up. He took the child and his mother, Mary, back to the land of Israel. But then he heard that Archelaus was king of Judea. Archelaus was ruling in place of his father Herod. This made Joseph afraid to go there. Warned in a dream, Joseph went back to the land of Galilee instead. There he lived in a town called Nazareth. So what the prophets had said about Jesus came true. They had said, He will be called a Nazarene. John the Baptist repairs the way. In those days, John the Baptist came and preached in the desert of Judea. He said, Turn away from your sins. The kingdom of heaven is near. John is the uh, one the prophet Isaiah has spoken about. He has said, A messenger is calling out in the desert. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 3. John's clothes were made out of camel's hair. He had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locust and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem, all of Judea. They also came from the whole area around the Jordan River. When they admitted they had sinned, John baptized, John baptized them in the Jordan. John saw many phrases and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing. He said to them, You are like a nest of poisonous snakes. Who warned you to escape from the 
coming of God's anger. Produce fruit that shows you have turned away from your sins. The only thing you can say to yourselves, Abraham is our father. I tell you, God can raise up children for Abraham even from these stones. The axe is already lying at the roots of the trees. All the trees that don't produce good fruit will be cut down. They will be thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water, calling you to turn away from your sins. But after me, one will come who is more powerful than I am, and I'm not fit to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His pitchfork is in his hands to clear the straw from his thrusting floor. He will gather his wheat into the storeroom, but he will burn up the husk with fire that can't be put out. Jesus is baptized. Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan River. He wanted to be baptized by John, but John tried to stop him. He told Jesus, I need to be baptized by you, so why do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be this way for now. It is right for us to do this. It carries out God's holy plan. Then John agreed. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he came up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened. Jesus saw the Spirit of God coming down on him like a dove. A voice from heaven said, This is my Son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him. Matthew chapter 4 Jesus is tempted. The Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert, where the devil tempted him. After 40 days and 40 nights of going without eating, Jesus was hungry. The tempter came to him. He said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man doesn't live only on bread. He also lives lives on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3. Then the devil took Jesus to the holy city. He had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down. It is written, the Lord will command his angel to take good care of you. Then will lift you up in their hands. Then you won't trip over a stone. Psalm chapter 91 verse 11 and 12. Jesus answered, answered him. It is also written, Do not put, put the Lord your God to the test. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 16. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain. He showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. If you bow down and worship me, he said, I will give you all of this. Jesus said to him, Get away from me, Satan. It is written, Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 13. Then the devil left Jesus. Angels came and took care of him. Jesus begins to preach. John had been put in prison. When Jesus heard about this, he returned to Galilee. Jesus left Nazareth. He went to live in the city of of Capernaum. It was by the lake in the area of Zebulun and Naphtali. In that way, what the prophet Isaiah had said came true. He had said, Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, Galilee, where non Jewish people live, land along the Mediterranean Sea, territory east of the Jordan River. The people who are now living in darkness will see a great light. They are now living in a very dark land, but a light will shine on them. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 1 and 2. From that time on, Jesus began to preach. Turn away from your sins, he said. The kingdom of heaven is near. Jesus chooses to first disciples. One day, Jesus was walking beside of the Sea of Galilee. There he saw two brothers. There were Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. They were throwing a net into the lake. They were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said. I will make your make you fishers of people. At once they left their nest and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers. They were James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee. They were preparing their nuts. Jesus called out to them. Right away, they left the boat and their father and followed Jesus. Jesus hoped heals sick people. Jesus went all over Galilee. There he taught in a sick in the synagogues. He pre- preached the good news of God's kingdom. He healed every illness and sickness the people had. News about him spread all over Syria. People brought to him all who were ill with different kinds of sicknesses. Some were suffering great pain. Others were controlled by de- 
demons. Some were shaking wildly. Others couldn't move at all, and Jesus healed all of them. Large crowds followed them. Even some people came from Galilee, from the area known as the Ten Cities, and from Jerusalem and Judea. Others came from the area across the Jordan River.